Oh my god, last week it was Nasty Nork, this week it's Ripto. Let's talk about it. Destination Mark. Hey guys, how's it going? Marcelo here, and I already have it up. He looks awesome. We have to talk about this. Okay, so um, I'm actually going to show off two pictures. Uh, bam, right there. Uh, this one's the key art, and this one is today's screenshot. I don't think it's art. This is an in-game model. So, um, we've got two things that I noticed. Um, little small differences between these two. So the first thing I want to point out is that it seems like his eyes are a little less reptilian. So like, the whites are green in this one, and his eyeballs are like little slits, like reptilian uh, little slits. Uh, here, it doesn't seem to be fully the case. It looks like his eyes are a bit more round, and uh, the whites are white. Uh, so that's what it looks like to me anyway. Uh, kind of matches what he looked like in the first game with his eyes. And then I think his nose looks a, le a little bit less prominent. So like in here, it's like very um, like just there, and there's definition to it to the nose. It looks more like a snout, uh, but here it looks a little less defined. So um, kind of like how it looked in the original. So you, all you really see here is all that's prominent now are like his nostrils. So there's that. Um, besides that, he looks menacing as all hell, and he looks awesome. So uh, that being said, though, again they posted this on a Monday, and last week for Nasty Nork it was on a Monday. So I'm wondering if we're gonna have these three consecutive Mondays where we're gonna show off all the villains, which means we might get the Sorceress next week. So, um, and I think I'm gonna beat that ahead of my little theory of showing off all the Spyro 3 stuff in August, just because they want newcomers who see this to get used to the villains. Um, cause they'll just look at her in the R and go, who's that, you know? So, um, that's why I think we might get the Sorceress next Monday if they're gonna do this for the three consecutive weeks. Uh, and along with that, they've been keeping up with still posting on Thursdays and, and Wednesdays because we've got a GIF of Spyro from 4th of July last week. We got Nasty Nora concept art last week, so we might get some Ripto concept art this week, maybe even today, who knows, later today. Um, and we'll probably have uh, something else from the Spyro Twitter on uh, Wednesday or Thursday. So they're doing a lot to show off all this stuff, and I'm so excited. And I really want to see, like, Crush and Gulp next, like, that would be so cool. But uh, yeah, so I'm thinking that this little theory that I talked about in the last video, I'm thinking <clears throat> this month, July, will be the month of Spyro 2. They'll be showing off all kinds of Spyro 2 stuff next. Uh, hopefully some gameplay soon. Uh, what the levels will look like, the home worlds, characters, everyone wants to see Hunter, Alora, the Professor, all of the classics, all the familiar characters. So we want to see them and see how, how they look and how they sound. And then I'm thinking August will be the month of Spyro 3. We'll see Bianca, other character M NPCs, uh, Homeworlds levels, just all of that jazz. I'm I'm hyped. I'm really hyped. I'm thinking that this is the start of Spyro 2, and we'll see that in due time if that's the, the case. Um, but yeah, on topic, again, real quick, a little recap. Ripto looks awesome. So he still looks really cool. Just a little short dude. Hopefully he's still really funny. So hopefully Greg Berger is still in fact him, and I'm pretty sure he is. I, I know he's returning, but I'm thinking back to like Insane Trilogy where certain voice actors returned but didn't exactly voice those roles they were known for in the, like, the originals or whatever. But for here, it might still be Greg Berger as Ripto, and I, I hope so. So um, what do you guys think? What do you think of Ripto's look? What do you think of, uh, who do you want to see uh, from Spyro 2 specifically? And what do you think of my little theory of this month is Spyro 2, next month Spyro 3, and then September leading up to the launch is just an amalgamation, a combination of here's Spyro 1, here's 2, whatever we want to feel like we want to show off across any of the three games, you'll recognize it, you'll know what it is, you'll get hyped. So, what do you think of that? What do you think of all of this? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm Marcelo, I'll see you guys later. Take care.